Aesculus hyocastinum is a large deciduous tree, commonly known as horse chestnut or conker tree. Distribution Aesculus hyocastinum is native to a small area in the Pindus Mountains mixed forests and Balkan mixed forests of southeast Europe. It is widely cultivated in streets and parks throughout the temperate world. Growth A hyocastinum grows to 36 meters tall, with a domed crown of stout branches. On old trees the outer branch is often pendulous with curled up tips. The leaves are opposite and palmately compound, with 5 a euro 7 leaflets. Each leaflet is 13 a euro 30 a cm long, making the whole leaf up to 60 a cm across, with a 7 a euro 20 a cm petial. The leaf scars left on twigs after the leaves have fallen have a distinctive horseshoe shape, complete with 7 nails. The flowers are usually white with a small red spot. They are produced in spring in erect panicles 10 a euro 30 a cm tall with about 20 a euro 50 flowers on each panicle. Usually only 1 a euro 5 fruit develop on each panicle. The shell is a green, spiky capsule containing one nut-like seeds called conkers or horse chestnuts. Each conker is 2 a euro 4 a cm diameter, glossy nut brown with a whitish scar at the base. Etymology, the common name horse chestnut is reported as having originated from the erroneous belief that the tree was a kind of chestnut, together with the observation that eating the fruit cured horses of chest complaints despite this plant being poisonous to horses. Uses, cultivation for its spectacular spring flowers is successful in a wide range of temperate climatic conditions provided summers are not too hot, with trees being grown as far north as Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, the Faroe Islands, Reykjavik A, Iceland and Harstad, Norway. In Britain and Ireland, the seeds are used for the popular children's game conkers. During the First World War, there was a campaign to ask for everyone to collect horse chestnuts and donate them to the government. The conkers were used as a source of starch for fermentation using the Clostridium acetobutylicum method devised by Chamwiseman to produce acetone for use as a solvent for the production of cordite which was then used in military armaments. Weisman's process could use any source of starch, but the government chose to ask for conkers to avoid causing starvation by depleting food sources but conkers were found to be a poor source and the factory only produced acetone for three months, however they were collected again in World War II for the same reason. The seeds, especially those that are young and fresh, are slightly poisonous, containing alkaloids opponins and glucosides. Although not dangerous to touch, they cause sickness when eaten. Consumed by horses, they can cause tremors and lack of coordination. Some mammals, notably deer, are able to break down the toxins and eat them safely. Though the seeds are said to repel spiders there is little evidence to support these claims. The presence of saponin may repel insects but it is not clear whether this is effective on spiders. Horse chestnuts have been threatened by the leaf mining moth Camararia oridella, whose larvae feed on horse chestnut leaves. The moth was described from Macedonia where the species was discovered in 1984 but took 18 years to reach Britain. The flower is the symbol of the city of Kiev, capital of Ukraine. Although the horse chestnut is sometimes known as the buckeye, this name is generally reserved for the New World members of the Aesculus genus. Medical uses the seed extract standardized to around 20% or resin is used for its venetonic effect, vascular protection, anti-inflammatory and free radical scavenging properties. Primary indication is chronic venous insufficiency. A recent Cochrane review found the evidence suggests that horse chestnut seed extract is an efficacious and safe short-term treatment for chronic venous insufficiency. Oresin reduces fluid leaks to surrounding tissue by reducing both the number and size of membrane pores in the veins. Safety in medical use, two preparations are considered. Whole horse snut extract and purified I-squared oresin. Historically, whole HCE has been used both for oral and for roots. The rate of adverse effects are low, in a large German study, 0.6%, consisting mainly of gastrointestinal symptoms. Dizziness, headache and itching have been reported. One serious safety issue is rare cases of acute anaphylactic reactions, presumably in a context of whole HCE. 
purified I squared or resin would be expected to have a better safety profile. Another is the risk of acute renal failure, when patients, who had undergone cardiac surgery were given high doses of horse chestnut extract IV for post-operative oedema. The phenomenon was dose-dependent as no alteration in renal function was recorded with 340 I 1 quarter G GAR 1, mild renal function impairment developed with 360 I 1 quarter G GAR 1 and acute renal failure with 510 I 1 quarter G GAR 1. This almost certainly took place in a context of whole HCE. Three clinical trials were since performed to assess the effects of resin on renal function. A total of 83 subjects were studied. 18 healthy volunteers given 10 or 20 mg of for 6 days, 40 in patients with normal renal function given 10 mg of 2 times per day, 12 patients with cerebral oedema and normal renal function given a massive IV dose on the day of surgery and 15.4 plus or minus 9.4 mg daily for the following 10 days and 13 patients with impaired renal function due to glomerulonephritis or pyelonephritis, who were given 20 a euro 25 mg IV daily for 6 days. In all studies renal function was monitored daily resorting to the usual tests of renal function, BUN. Serum creatinine, creatinine clearance, urinalysis. In a selected number of cases, paraminoipurate and labeled EDTA clearance were also measured. No signs of development of renal impairment in the patients with normal renal function or of worsening of renal function in the patients with renal impairment were recorded. It is concluded that orsin has excellent tolerability in a clinical setting. Raw horse chestnut seed, leaf. Bark and flour are toxic due to the presence of esculin and should not be ingested. Horse chestnut seed is classified by the FDA as an unsafe herb. The glycoside and saponin constituents are considered toxic. Aesculus hyocastinum is used in bark flour remedies. When the buds are used it is referred to as chestnut bud, and when the flowers are used it is referred to as white chestnut. Other chemicals, quercetin 3, 4 diglucoside a flavonal glycoside can also be found in horse chestnut seeds. Lemicusianidin, leucadelphinidin and prasianidin A2 can also be found in horse chestnut. Anne Frank tree, a famous specimen of the horse chestnut was the Anne Frank tree in the center of Amsterdam, which she mentioned in her diary and which survived until August 2010, when a heavy wind blew it over. Eleven young specimens, sprouted from seeds from this tree, were transported to the United States. After a long quarantine in Indianapolis, each tree was shipped off to a new home at a notable museum or institution in the United States, such as the 9-11 Memorial Park, Central HS, in Little Rock, and two Holocaust centers. One of them was planted outdoors in March 2013 in front of the Children's Museum of Indianapolis, where they were originally quarantined. One, bonsai, the horse chestnut is a favorite subject for bonsai. Diseases, leading canker. Half of all horse chestnuts in Great Britain are now showing symptoms to some degree of this potentially lethal bacterial infection. Gynodia leaf blotch, caused by the fungus Gynodia aesculi, with rotting fungi, for example such as Armillaria and Gonodoma, horse chestnut scale, caused by the insect Pulvinaria regulis, horse chestnut leaf minor, Camararia oridella, a leaf mining moth. Also affecting large numbers of UK trees. Phytophthora bleeding canker, a fungal infection. Gallery. See also. Anne Frank tree, references, notes. External links, nccam.ni.gov horse chestnut page, nih.gov horse chestnut page, naturalpedia. Taxon page for Camararia oridella desica and Dymac 1986, Itchhorn, Marcus. The Conquer Tree. Test Tube. Brady Heron for the University of Nottingham A.